Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to talk about errors, problems and every other casualties that you may have during Unity um, level play integration. In my case I'm using Windows, this video is going to be a very long one, but if you are having no other options, if you are thinking what I'm doing wrong, why it does not work, step after step you're doing this again and again, I think it's better for you now just to stop trying your failed attempts and watch this video because in this video I'm going to invest my own time because I tried everything and I tried many versions and I succeeded. In this video I'm going to talk about what you can do and I think, I believe, I really do hope that this video will help most of you. So uh, let's go to the list. First off, I want to say that Unity is not very, uh, let's say, specific in their terms and something they state does not mean that it is what they want it to be for example i have two versions one is lts and one is non lts in my case 2022.2.4 other one is 2022.3 and you know LTS means it is more stable okay but turns out not always I will explain you why in this video so uh, I take this project uh, I have custom uh, unity uh, project opener let's say like this it's like custom one unity launcher pro and i have uh, unity hub i really don't like unity hub because uh, it's not so custom if something crashes here does not work you're done you have to dig it's really bad decision to have this unity hub just no offense unity techno technologies but you know everybody knows that but what's good about this is that you can install editors here just like super quick uh, you know swift if it works if it works so um, this is my unity launcher pro i can see here versions i recommend you to use this one because this is super nice I know there are many others, but this is way better. Why you should use this? Because, once again, I told you that Unity often breaks. Every package it is working with one version may be broken in other. So, it's very good to have this list of versions here. That's why I recommend you to use this Launcher Pro. It has uh, more options. For your customization uh, so let's get back to our list I have two versions this is this one this is the second one LTS does not always mean that this is super super stable you learned this lesson already I told you um, so also I have uh, two versions of uh, iron source integration manager 7.4 and 7.7 7 7.7 .7 right now it is the freshest one so uh, let's open up this project as you can see uh, this project is well let's me open this again I don't believe it is uh, 2.4 I believe it's yeah it's uh, 20 22.3 so now let's uh, downgrade it 
you see here button upgrade it does not mean that uh, it is solely upgrade you can also downgrade it let's downgrade it to 2022 to this one downgrade um, just once again this video is going to be very long but it will cover uh, the vast majority of problems that you may have and what those problems let's just do this like blitz uh, list first uh, a resolver is either stuck on 100% or it's instant instant it's it's not good if you see something uh, goes instantly with resolver it means that something is broken you should learn this rule already uh, also instant resolver may also mean that um, you know it, it it may come with broken UI so you have this instant resolver and your UI is broken uh, and um, you can either um, uh, re-import assets it may fix this problem or if it does not fix uh, you may close your project and open this again and you may see this problem no valid user created or default window found and two options revert or quit you click revert and it does not fix it uh, once again this pop-up window and you click quit and it quits and you have your problem not fix it so as you can see this is um, 2022.2.4 um, first, let's uh, import package. We are going to start with 7.4. And um, this is version of Unity. It is uh, not modified. Uh, all the uh, Android uh, RP levels are installed exactly those that were coming with unity i have not modified anything i believe uh, i have not um you see it says do you want to yes import this resolver it is a very big big headache it forces you to have one file all the time copied after you uh, open project so you open unity project and you have to all the time copy the very same file to a specific folder in temporary folder so uh, I'm going to show you what you what you have to do so look you have your iron source integration imported with this resolver uh, next you go to this resolver here I mean not resolver to this integration and what you can do you can um, update iron source to the freshest one but I'm not going to do this in this case right now because uh, this will uh, break uh, me this timeline because I want to show you all the problems all the options so now we are going to install right now uh, this version so this version it is exactly for this iron source 7.4 if you update to 7.7 .7, this version latest will be different for this iron source so uh, now this you see you have to have a specific file and I'm going to show you what's going to happen so look I don't have this file yet you see this temporary so here uh, should be a folder and in this folder should be a specific file you see this temporary here this folder should be here and there this file and look, if uh, I click uh, resolve, by the way, 
I want also to say that uh, you see this uh, build button build button it's like hint for you it also resolve plus build so you if you have something not resolved uh, this button will resolve and afterwards it will build uh, your APK for you or AAB or you know whatever it also you know works here so it resolves and builds it resolves it if it's not resolved and it then builds APK or AAB file for you so uh, now we go to assets we go to here and I'm going to open up console because I already know that there will be error. Uh, assets, mobile, Android. I have Android because I don't have the you know this iOS, but I think it will work for others. Uh, so look, I click resolve, and it will complain here that I don't have specific file. You see, uh, zero percent. Uh, it's not stuck. It's not stuck. It's just stopped because it you, you see uh, Actually, uh, it uh, tries to uh, run one file. You see this gradle uh, W dot batch file, which is not present and You have to all the time place it here like this do you remember this uh, folder was not present here? What I find very strange is that there is this file, but they could not place also batch file, knowing that this is Windows platform. This is weird. So then, uh, what you should do? I'm going to show you this. If you uh, go back again here in, and you try to click resolve it may not work uh, it's because UI is broken and in this list I have uh, explanation so if UI is broken uh, what you can try uh, is assets reimport if assets reimport does not work then I have a very bad news for you that your project may not work anymore and you should use backup you, you should restore it from backup to save your time so you go to assets and you click uh, reimport also if you know exactly what folder is you know was affected you can try a uh, certain folder or file but i'm going to reimport everything after that, uh, what you can do, you um, you can uh, click reload, and uh, you can click now uh, build and run, or just build, and uh, this will run this resolve. Look, build and run. See? Save. Place. Uh, this uh, will run this resolve for you. And afterwards, there will be other error. Okay. This is because I, mm, I click uh, build and run. Because I don't have my device plugged, uh, you know it's not actually uh, necessary. It's not actually necessary to do that. To do this, but okay. this video is pretty long. But okay. I don't think I will be able to. Uh, Okay, okay, we are now going to just build an APK file. So, um, this should uh, run resolve because, once again, I told you this already. Build
enabled, you know, this build button, it does multiple functions. First, it resolves if some of your packages are not resolved. Then it uh, does build. And if it's build and run, it means that it resolves, uh, builds APK, and pushes it into your device. Well, uh, if you believe that uh, it should be resolving, but it does not resolve, you should click cancel, because sometimes, you know, just like you see now, uh, it does not uh, run this resolve. And it takes some time just to um, cancel this and uh, that's why I really don't like uh, 2022 and all the others are after it because uh, it has too many verbose messages as you can see this is uh, I'm going to show you what you should not do because it will waste your time so for this video you're going to learn like every kind of mistake see so sometimes it's best option for you just to shut down unity yeah, Unity, I'm sorry to say this, but sometimes it's better to just shut down it and run it again. Open project. So we are going uh, again about this. Just do you remember what I was talking about? That you have to have this file all the time here in temporary folder this is exactly why i decided to you know crash unity for you i just wanted to show you the problem behind this resolver and maybe i will test this resolver or you may test it it may fix this problem here. So, now let's try this resolve manually. Uh, how it should go? First, it should go slowly, like this. Then it should stuck at 100%. And if you can see that it flickers you know here you know this scroll bar uh, you know this uh, element here if it flickers if you can see here this scroll bar flickering you instantly know that it's broken because it should you know stuck here at 100 percent for some time and after that it should uh, uh, start second stage and you will see on second stage uh, many many files with extension double uh, a r right here you see like this jar r you see this is second stage and pop up like that so we have this resolver now working uh, now I'm going to show you the other problem it's missing the AP, API so um, if you have already noticed I haven't touched anything uh, in settings the only one thing I have uh, I specified 
product uh, name you see this build settings you see uh, player settings I have here only uh, company name and product name others other things I have not touched them at all as you can see nothing touch it here uh, nothing touch it here you see it's it's all by default i'm just showing you this so you could know uh where you are missing something so it's like default project uh, uh, what else so now what we can do now we have our product and company name for build okay let's build but let's ignore this step what are we going to have mm, let's click build save uh it's going to be a pretty long process maybe i will pause this video but no, uh, you know, it may uh, start to show me errors instantly. And we are going to have a look at those errors. And this error will be about uh, API. It will, it will look for API uh, 33. And you see some people in uh, internet they say that you have to strictly uh, install API 33 but they don't explain uh, why exactly and in this video I'm going to explain you why you why because it shows you this specifically in error in my case it will ask for API 33 in your case it will ask for different uh, API uh, so if uh, you open your uh, error and you can see something different uh, it's not like 33 then you should uh, have uh, installed different API so you can do this either by unity or by common prompt uh, or you know this Android SDK whatever I'm going to show you multiple options it can be either unity or uh, CMD so in my case uh, meanwhile you know it's doing this I'm going to explain you uh, CMD so look I have my unity installed uh, into this folder and uh, you know like by default maybe you have it installed into different folder this is my sdk manager and this is how i install platform 33 this is how i uninstall platform 33 this is uh, uh this version of unity this is how i will install 34 this is how i will you didn't install uh, 34. So uh, now we are in build, and you see the problem is that it takes so much time to do this, and later in maybe. It depends on the uh, complexity of your project. It may be uh, 10 minutes, maybe 20, maybe 30. In my case, in my case, it will take maybe 30 minutes. But my project is almost empty. This slate of UI and nothing. I don't have anything else. Oh, I forgot. I forgot uh, I should I should have changed it 
scena. Ok, I will, I will, I will pause video for you, and to not to waste our time, I will continue later. Look at the time. So we are back. So finally, we have this error now, and let's read what exactly. Unity wants from us. This one, ignore this, it does not mean anything important. This is very, very important. You see, it says dependency requires compiler SDK Edison to be set to 33. You may have something different here. I have 33 or higher. The same goes here. You see, you have text c33 or higher this also ignore see it says three errors actually how it counts errors one two three so it counts it by you know those lines actually we have only uh two errors um yeah uh, we don't have for uh, you know like three errors <laughs> So, how to fix this? You go to project settings and here you see target API level. You set here to AP33. Uh, you click build and it will ask you uh, you want to update Android SDK which means that it will do this uh, it will do this it will go to command prompt and it will do this this first one or uh, you can use highly installed so this is automatic this is what uh, what uh, brought you this error so what we are going to do we are going to use uh, like common prompt method. So uh, type here CMD. I'm going to use common prompt and launch it as administrator. This is important. Now uh, you have to specify your uh, location for uh, SDK manager, platforms. Click enter. It will ask you like why. You enter why. Okay, uh, pause video. Okay, when it's done, you see here nothing. Don't just be afraid of this. It's all okay. Now we can do. You can try this. It will go back to automatic, but you have a uh, highest installed already 33. Or you may have again this problem. And boom, you have it. So if you decide to do it uh, in Unity, uh, install this API, you can click it like this, just like the way I told you. If you want to install it manually like this, you have to close Unity and to reopen this. It. Now let's try update. Uh, iron source you see uh, every time you uh, do actions like this you have to uh, resolve but once again after restart we don't have here this uh, gradle w dot bat so I'm copying it back. You have to just all the time have it somewhere in your archive. Yeah, so we have it now have it now updated. Error source. See this? Integration 7.7. .7. Uh, now let's try to update. Unity ads. This is exactly what I was talking about. So 
once you update to 7.7 .7, you can uh, see even higher version of unity now i'm going to show you um what happens so now we have to now uh all the software understands that we have to resolve uh, but let's say we forgot to resolve we click button build and it will do this it should do this for us this is exactly what i was trying to uh, say to you that uh, build means resolve and then afterwards it builds and pushes to your device there should be this window should pop up here I'll pause video why it doesn't out well if it does not let's do this manually Wow, that's why I did this specifically for you, to show you what you have to do to fix now this problem. You see, we are here stuck at 100%. Uh, you see this uh, scroll bar? Now you have to go here and uh, publishing settings. And I forgot exactly what's the name of this. Um, custom main gradle, custom main gradle, boom. And uh, then uh, you have to go here to your project. Now we have nothing to do here. Go to project and re-import. Uh, then we can just uh, uncheck this because this will prevent us from building. Silence. Should be no silence. As you can see, it's still stuck. Let's close it and let's do this again. Resolve. Now it should be fixed. But once again, don't forget to uncheck it. Oh, you see? If it's too quick, it means that something is not good. So, now what we're going to do, we are going to uh, close it now. We are going to restart the project. And don't forget to put temp. Alright, so we have it. Now let's try again. Assets. Resolve. Re-enable. Reload. After re-import. Why the instant? No idea, but hmm. Don't forget to disable. Uh, what happens when you forget to disable this? This error happens. So don't forget to disable. Well, sometimes you may have errors like this, API 34 or higher, but the problem is here you have only, mm, you say 34, okay, but what are you going to say about this? 36. But if you click update, it will say that uh, it cannot find API 36. So you will need to do this manually. Hmm. You see? So 
you have to do this manually, like this. After that, you can go back here. Highest installed. Ah, you will need to restart Unity. We are installing 34. So we are launching Unity project after it successfully installed platform 34, which it required. And also we place uh, this file into here back because it all the time requires it to do so. It is once again highest installed API, like automatic here. So uh, 7.4 requires API 33, 7.7 .7 requires API 34. Yeah, you see this? Now we have it installed. So uh, now we are going to try... Uh, uh, now we are going... I'm going to show you now this one. And this is LTS. This is where all the problems are beginning. And this is where we have to be very careful. Because everything, even your project, may be broken. So I'm going to be showing you. We are importing 7.4. And uh, I note here that update is impossible. Choose wisely. And I'm going to be showing why. We're going to import also Resolver. Unity adds. Now just remember I told you that build means uh, resolve and build. So now I'm going to be showing you what I meant when I say that. So this is very important. We are we need to have this test sync to test everything. So you 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 remember I never pressed resolve in this project. So now I click build and it will uh, do this for me. Just uh, have a look. It will mm, place window for me here resolve and you see this button update it's very tempting to press this button, but please do not do this, because this will break your project. I will pause video, obviously you will believe me that I'm not cheating here. Or no, maybe I'm not going to pause video, so you will believe me that uh, this window will actually appear here. This resolve. Let's wait out. I think this video is going to be uh, hour long. Okay, yeah, see this? And you see I have this uh, file here, that's why it's happening. And this window should suddenly disappear. If it does not disappear, it means that it's stuck or you have to wait. Uh, what do I mean when I say stuck? I mean, uh, if you are, so usually, you see, oh, it's okay. If it's more than 30 minutes uh, for a blank project like this, then you have a problem. You may ask me why I have it working. Because, you see, 7.4 requires API 33 which I have already installed here. I decided to not to waste your time. Uh, you see those lines? This is how you can install it uh, in a command prompt. Use it as admin. This is very important. Administrator, uh, you know, privilege only. Uh, if you cannot do this in a common prompt, you can do this uh, in Unity. I I show you this. I I have shown you this already. It's done. Player settings, other settings, and there's like API 33. You install it, then you go to auto. Switch to auto. So once again, test your integration only with this scene. Make sure that you have it in here. Because if you don't have it here, it means that you are not testing integration. If you are using your 
uh, scene without uh, this component, it means that you are not testing it. Test only with uh, this scene. So I'm going to have my APK file successfully because I have AP33 installed in this version of Unity. Once again, if you want to have it and you need to have it if you're going to use 7.4, you need to have AP33. You can install it. I'm going to show it for you how you can have it installed. You go player settings. I will, I will pause video. No. Uh, you go to player settings. You go to target. You select here 33. Because in error it will say to you. Hey I need API 33. You select API 33 here. Then you click build. It will tell you that hey you don't have this API. Do you want to update? It means to install this API 33. Or you want to go to automatic, you know, you know, back to where you have been. Or cancel. So you select uh, the one that it wants from you. It installs and it goes to automatic or you go to automatic back. And you just, you can do this. Now we, we are going to... Mm, uh, the very problematic step. You see, you have now 7.4. This is Unity 22.3 LTS. I stress LTS. If you think, yeah, it's good. Now let's update. Uh, you update it, and you will have problem. You see. You click import, import, you may have problem. Obviously, uh, I'm not going to have something different. Okay, look. You see, uh, uh, the bottom is unclickable. Uh, current, you see, it's not changed here. You see, I cannot click, I cannot click. Uh, so this is uh, where I understand that I'm in a very serious trouble. If I don't have backup of this project, oh my, I have a very big trouble. So please, make backup. Yes, backup may, may take a lot of space. But believe me, when you make backup, it takes a lot of space, but it requires from you a single action just like one button you press backup or you press restore so you trade you either uh, save space and you waste your time or you waste your space and later you will save your time so you see I have this problem now um, you see a resolver is uh, no 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 uh, where is it? I ah, see unclickable updater does not re re replace uh, 7.4 with 7.7. .7. So you see it breaks instead of updating. You see, and once I close it, I cannot go back. I cannot go back. Also, if I go to assets, uh, a resolver, a resolver is too quick. It's like, you see, it's like instant. Or it's either instant or it's not there. In my case, something. You see, very weird things are started to happen. You see? Very weird. I, you see, I cannot even... I cannot drag windows. You see, I cannot, I cannot press buttons. Uh, okay, let's uh, go. Oh my, I cannot press buttons at all. See, it's it, it's all broken now. Um, yeah. So, 
what I wanted to do, I wanted to re-import my things, but uh, wait a minute, maybe I will uh, layout reset all layouts. Let's try maybe this one. Oh wait, this this is what error you are going to get when you are so let's say let's say you go uh, to that window here i mean opposite let's say you have not done this you have not done this you will have this error if you haven't done this windows operation you see uh your project now is uh is toasted toasted you you cannot use it now uh, so once again i pressed that uh, window you know this re revert uh, but you will have the very same problem if uh, you restart your project like this it will go to maybe like 90 percent of loading and um, it will poof say this this problem um, what can fix this problem is when you delete either part of your library or you delete all your library <clears throat> see you click well you may ask me and what if i update uh, it manually like this you see and uh, look at this this is what is going to happen the very same thing look uh, do you remember I told you that build also means resolve so look we are updating it manually now it will crash all the installation even if it's manual you see look at this you see, we cannot click any button now. When we go back, we cannot, we cannot go back. Oh my. Oh my. Basically, I cannot now build. Oh. Now look, I close it, I go back, and you know, just to be completely honest with you, uh, this is what you will get. You will get the same error uh, on uh, 90 percent, so we're here. Uh, so, as far as I understand, uh, what happens, it's, uh, it reverts all the UI configuration for editor and boom it is broken now so make backup oh lights are on lights outside so choose wisely you see I have nothing here I have uh, API automatic and it will now require API 33 uh, I mean, no, it will require API 34, which I believe I have not installed here or I deleted. Uh, so, and also I have not pressed uh, resolve here. So what I did, this is fresh project, fresh. I imported, uh, mm, I imported level play 7.4. Why I import that 7.4? Ah, okay, so this is 7.4. I wanted to import 7.7. .7. So the point is, once you import 7.4 and you decide to update it like this, or you decide to update it like, like uh, this, there is no way. It will break your project, okay? Uh, so uh, I imported 7.4 to this fresh project then I have it like this it's like by default 
and nothing is here. It uh, will use API 33. 7.4 uses uh, like target API 33. Uh, and I'm supposed that now to press button resolve and after resolve I have to press build and or build and run. But let's assume that I forgot. It should uh, resolve it for me now. Just like uh, I, I, you know, I show you this already you know, once again, but you saw this uh, previously. There should be this pop-up. You see that? You know, uh, the minus is that it's white. So usually uh, you should do this by yourself, assets, resolve. It will show you normal window with all the information, with progress bar. But if you forgot to resolve and you click build, it will open up this blank uh, resolve window. It may do something there or it may get stuck. You will never know until some moment. It, if it's too long, if it's 30 um, plus minutes for a blank project like this, that is broken. If it's uh, disappearing, it's good. You are good to go. And don't forget to have your company name, any any name, and product name available here. It should be different from default to make it uh, build APK file for you. Okay, it's dis disappeared. Okay, so I have APK file. If you click here install and you uh, forgot to resolve once again it will do uh, resolve for you and after that it will build if it's too quick it means that you have to anyway click resolve manually because uh, if it's too quick you have to be very careful and you see this Stage number two, if you see this, you're good to go. Really, you are lucky. You are a successful person in the universe. After that, you can build and you are... But don't press this button, update. Like this. Oh yeah, press the button. Ah, I'm actor. I'm acting. Look, hey, now it's broken. You see, now it's broken. I wonder if, if I click build and run. You know, there is a possibility that if I have everything pre, um, all the program. <laughs> Well, the point is, if I had a device uh, plugged, uh, if I had, if I had uh, everything, but my device is not plugged, it doesn't detect it. So, I mean, you could actually uh, press update. And after that, you could, uh, if your device is plugged, you could press build and run. And if your scene is Iron Source Demo, you could potentially, before the end of your project, you could uh, push uh, APK to your phone. But in my case, it's, it's a toast. It's done. Game over for you now. So for this this version of Unity, you better although it states that it's LTS, you better update everything completely manually from scratch. You delete all the iron source integration and you do it manually because uh, it breaks if you update it uh, like this. Or like this 
So once again, this is uh, naming, uh, this is here, this is here. F I think this version of Unity has, uh, I installed API 33, but uh, you will not have it pre-installed. Uh, so you, you will need to install API 33 uh, like this. Uh, for 7.4 and you will need to install uh, 34 not like this not like this uh, or yeah not like this uh, via CMD like this since I haven't pressed resolve uh, it should resolve for me and because I have this file here available should be no problem except windows blank since this is 7.7 .7 version if i don't have now api 34 installed it will give me this error and i will do uh, this see that white window is for too long Seven point four wins. Does it ask for AP34? You see, when you have uh, this message, it means that you already have AP34. If you have this message, it means that you don't have. So you see, I type here 34, unzipping means that I was installing. Then again, 34 says computing updates means that I already had it. I was installing uh, AP33 for 2.4, then uh, 33 for uh, this version. Yeah, we have it now working. Thanks for watching this video. Have a good time and bye bye. Bye bye and have a good time. See you later in the next video about something very interesting or maybe not very interesting. Bye bye. Oh, I'm still recording.